Hi. Hi. Hi how are you? All well, sir. Thank you so much. Sir, we've heard that recently the Honorable Delhi High Court has held in one of its judgments that Section mm -hmm. 9 petitions of the Arbitration Act of 1996 cannot really be disposed of uh, ex parte. Could you please yeah. help us understand exactly what this judgment talks about? Yeah. So actually, the main purpose of Section 9 petition is getting an interim injunction when the arbitration is pending or before initiation of arbitration. Why this legislation has been enacted is because there, there were arbitrations which were going on and the status quo is maintained at that very moment or it is not maintained like there is an arbitration of a landlord or tenant and if a landlord has evicted his tenant and then arbitration has been going, it will take some time. So that's why this is like a, this is like a remedy for both the parties to go and approach the Honorable High Court or, or any adjudicating authority, uh, the relevant adjudicating authority to go there, file a, a petition under Section 9 of Arbitration Act, get an interim injunction at least because at, because it's a prolonged process arbitration because a person needs to file a statement of claim and statement of defense and the evidences will be going on and at Correct. that very point before choosing the arbitrator also both the parties will be suffering so this, this is a ground level problem which everyone faces before before choosing any arbitrator some things which needs to be cleared so these things are there which needs to be taken care of that's why section 9 arbitration application is there uh, is into use so now the main purpose of section 9 is only to get an interim injunction what the Honorable High Court did, very rightly did, Justice Honorable Ms. Justice Pratibha M. Singh did, that an interim injunction can be granted while hearing a Section 9 petition, but, uh, but it cannot be disposed of. So add interim injunction on the first day, you can get it, but it cannot be disposed of without hearing the other party. Why? Okay. Because the main the pillar of the constitution or any law is audi ultram partum which, which means that both the parties to be heard and it's the main pillar of the uh, principles of natural justice so principles of natural justice always says that both the parties needs to be heard and at that very moment you can dispose of the application by hearing both the parties so Pratibha M, Justice Pratibha M Singh has very rightly said this thing. Uh, this is a very, very good judgment and uh, the Honorable High Court has reiterated a catena of judgments by the Honorable Supreme Court or many high courts in the country that Section 9 arbitration petition is a remedy, but it should not be used as a sword. Because only one party is saying anything if a person, if I am an advocate and I am arguing only my case, so only one side of the story is heard and you cannot, you cannot decide only on the one side of the story. Right. So the basic principle of a natural justice. Correct. That is very much rightly heard because uh, in this, uh, in this case, nine petitions, I think nine or 14 petitions have been dismissed or disposed of. Section 9 petitions have been disposed of without hearing the other party. So without hearing the other party, you cannot decide a case. Of course. And there was no opportunity which was granted. Mm -hmm. And in the uh, and uh, with regard to the facts of the case, since it is in a public domain now, the judgment, the order. So with regard to uh, the facts of the case, it was held that uh, the respondent uh, before the lower court was given an opportunity only once when uh, the service was complete to the respondents and at that, at that very moment uh, the respondent didn't turn up they sought a passover passover was granted but on the same day itself without hearing the other party the section 9 petition has been disposed of in favor of the petitioner therein so being aggrieved by this order which is like a unilateral order they have approached the Honorable High Court and High Court has very rightly said that this cannot be disposed of without hearing both the parties in the arbitration. So same thing goes, goes with uh, foreign laws also. So as compared to Section 9, then in foreign laws, there, there is this provision called emergency arbitration. Okay. So we have, uh, while enacting this Section 9 petition, we have 
we have adopted this for, uh, from foreign countries that there is this emergency arbitration uh, which is uh, given a name of section 9 petition okay. okay so that's why that's why just because there is an emergency you cannot say that okay only i'll i'll be heard and not the other party because exactly. both the parties should be given an equal opportunity to be heard the basic principles of uh, pre, uh, the basic rule of uh, principles of natural justice that's all correct correct sir rightly held uh, i am like totally in uh, agreeing uh, i am totally agreeing with the decision of the honorable high court all right sir thank you yeah. so very much for these insights thanks thanks